Hello everyone, it is Patty Mosrino here and I just want to um, show you how you can add that click here button that you can use for your Facebook banner. And so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add a new image. So you can either drag and drop it, which I'm going to do, or you can just upload it. And I am logged into PicMonkey, by the way. So I'm doing this on uh, PicMonkey. You can also do the same on Canva. So I'm going to click Create. You could have labeled it. And so I've already added my image in there. And then what I want to go to is I'm going to actually go to the graphics. And I'm going to go to the basic graphics. And I'm going to go ahead and add... I am just going to add this little circle there. So here is the little circle. You can actually change the color of the circle. Um, you can actually, this is kind of fun. So, um, whoops here. I'm going to go ahead and move this over. But um, you can actually change this. So if I were to use that little dropper there, I can do it in that green. So you can do that. And then what I'm going to do and that was the layers there. So um, first I'll go ahead and create this and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add text. So this is super simple. This is the text that you're going to add. And here we go, add text. So it comes up with this. And all I'm gonna do is say, click here, which is their call to action. And I can go ahead and I can actually make this bold. You can do whatever on this. And I'm just going to make sure it's inside that little circle so that you could do that. Obviously, you could do any kind of graphic there, but I'm going to take this and drag this across and this as well. Okay, so that now I have the click here button. You can easily export it just like this. It'll tell you what to export it to. You can export it to your computer. And... Um, Mine goes to my downloads, as you can see, and it'll go directly to my downloads, and there we have it. And when I click on my downloads, this is what's going to come up. There's the click here button. So then you can upload it, and you can use it on your banner, and that just lets everybody know click here. And the reason that you would want to do that is when they click on there, and this is the banner, it brings up, you know, you can add the description in there. And, of course, the description would be to add the link in there or some important information so it's a call to action um, but it just makes people want to click there so they can go ahead and click there you can add that anywhere so I hope that helps and um, thanks for joining me